Yeah, look, a bit of a concern, James. Um, so you remember recently Stephen Humphreys, the CEO of Manly, uh, left the club. Um, he had negotiations uh, last contract with Josh Schuster about Schuster playing 5-8 for the Seagulls. There was a, a promise made that that's where he'd be played and his family was told the same thing. Um, an email has now gone in from Schuster's management company to the Manly management, who are now in charge of the club, reminding him of that, <laughs> that he was told he was going to be playing 5-8. This is interesting because Kieran Foran is off contract and wanting to keep playing with Manly. Schuster's management are adamant that he should be playing 5-8 for Manly. And in effect, Manly have been put on notice regarding Schuster and false promises that have been made to him and his family. Now, I'm not saying Schuster himself is kicking up a stink about this. His management have put Manly on notice to remind them of what, they were, what went on. And I feel like this could be some agitating towards either getting Schuster out of the club or putting pressure on the foreign re-signing, uh, and who has been good for Manly, by the way, uh, potentially moving him to Hooker, where it was mooted that he was going to play. So it's not what Manly probably need at the moment, because Schuster is going to be a superstar of Danny, the game. Was it the CEO or, the, or Des Hazard who said you play 5-8? Because I think I'd imagine Des Hazard would be the boss as to who plays where. Well, I think that the, the conversations were with Hazler as well. I think everybody was in on the, on the chat that the idea was for Schuster to play 5-8. Des doesn't have to go through that in a contract negotiation, I guess. But I can tell you the management have reminded Manly of this uh, and they're not happy about it. So it'll be interesting to see where that goes because you don't want to lose Schuster um, if, if he's unhappy or if his management's unhappy and tries to say, well, you didn't deliver on promises, at least positionally, where he should be playing. Denny, how's Paul Morgan Harper going after last Thursday against uh, Talakai? Yeah, look, not the best. Um, there's, there's considerable talk that he won't be picked this week. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether Des Hasler continues to defend him. Um, you look, it was hard to blame just one player in this instance, but uh, he, he didn't have a great game. Uh, all of his uh, Manly teammates, I was down at Manly today, and they all stood up for Harper and said that he shouldn't be judged on this performance. It's a pressure call now for Des because they've got some good young players coming through, including Kula, who, uh, Cole, who's, who's a good player. And, um, you know, he's got a lot of speed and this wasn't Harper's finest moment, but he has been good on other occasions for the club. Mate, he, he never had a lot of help inside or outside no, right, that night no. too. Like, it's easy to throw it on one bloke, but... He's already been thrown under mate, one bus, does he do mate, now? <laughs> Would you pick him this week? Well, I'll, I'll say this. that His winger didn't help him at all, and mm. neither did inside him, really. So, mm. look, yeah, throw it on one place easier than dropping them other guys, I suppose. Yeah, look, but that's what the Manly players, yeah. they, they defended him yeah. today as well.